weather gets colder, you might think pets aren't out as much as, uh, and are not as much of a problem. But Edge Pest Control and Lawn Care is here to tell us about one critter you might not know about. And it actually likes the winter weather. Brandon Miller joins us to share a vole. You're explaining what a lot of people might not know that term. What is a vole? Voles, yeah. Most people don't know what they are unless they've had them in the past. But a vole is it's a type of field mouse. And what they do is they make little trails and little tunnels through the yard. And they eat mm -hmm. the root systems of grass and shrubs and trees. But yeah, they, they're, they're types of field mice. They're a little bit stubbier, fatter mice, <laughs> uh, shorter tail. Uh, but yeah. yeah, they're a huge issue out here. So if they're creating all these tunnels in your <coughs> lawn, they're, they're chewing up everything, all your expensive landscaping you've been working on all summer. Yeah, they, they can be a big problem in the winter because when basically they make these trails, they look like little trenches, they spread out through the grass. Um, but when the snow covers it, then most people have no idea that they're there and oh it acts no. as a protection from the environment. So when the snow melts, their yard is just trashed. And then they see it when it's far too late. Yeah. They probably have a lot of babies like mice do. They <laughs> so reproduce really quick, yeah. So now you've got all these voles that you didn't know that you had. Okay, how do you find out if you have them in your yard if you don't see those little trenches that they're building? Okay, so most people will find the trenches. That's the biggest thing. Other things that they do is they eat the roots of like your vegetable gardens, uh, flower gardens. So if they don't pop up the next spring, um, that's an issue. But they make these holes as well. Um, like a little tunnel system. They're about the size of a golf ball and there can be anywhere between two and 20 holes. There's no dirt, they're just holes and that's a good sign that, that they're there as well. How do you know it's not a snake? <laughs> when I think about holes in my backyard or a lawn, you know, I'm thinking about snakes. Yeah. It, it there's different? a lot more. Okay, there's so a there's lot more holes, holes than yeah. you would have if it's a snake. Yes. Okay, so this isn't something that I want to mess around with. It sounds really gross. Yes. How can I give you a call <laughs> so you can help us out? Yeah, so give us a call. Um, our website, phone number's on there. But yeah, we have bait stations that we use. We do a phenomenal job with voles um, to get rid of them. And then we leave those stations out all year round. So it helps as a, pre as a preventative measure so they don't come back after we get rid of them. I was just going to ask you about that. I mean, some critters like to come back to where they once were. Are, yeah. are these the same? Do voles like to come back to their old spots? They're really like mice, so they'll, they'll go, they go everywhere. So um, people have them from their neighbor's yards and they travel. They travel from fields. You can get them from anywhere. And so, yeah, when we place those stations around the fence, it acts as kind of that barrier and around the home so that they, they don't reinfest the yards. Who's most at risk? Are we talking about homes in rural areas? Can this happen if you live in downtown Salt Lake? We get them everywhere. Really bad everywhere in Utah. We've had a couple subdivisions in the last couple of years that have been infested with them. Oh. So we get them all over the place. You never want to hear the word infestation in your own neighborhood. <laughs> with rodents. <laughs> with yes. rodents. Not a good thing. Okay, how long does it take you guys to catch them? And it must depend on how many are out there. They, yeah, it does. They reproduce, like I said, pretty quick. Um, so it could take a couple of weeks, it could take a few months. If you're in an area that is surrounded by fields, um, it's good to keep those up permanently so that we don't keep having issues. And you said your website, good place to start? Yeah, website, it's great. And there Edge it is on your... .com, yeah. There's there it is. Uh, Brandon just said edgepestcontrol.com. Right there on your screen, we'll put a link to that on our website at goodforutah.com. Brandon Miller, as always, thank you for sharing you. the Critter of the Week with us. <laughs> Absolutely. Brian, back to you. We'll just follow the trail. Thank you, Nadia.